hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back as always huge massive thank you for the support so coming back with the last play on camera for the festive elegance which is part of the hunky dory blockbuster um and we're going to go with deck the halls which is this beautiful silver foiled um bauble tree and the baubles or um ornaments um there um the card stock you've got the foil in there um the beautiful tree again and then you've got the um sort of floral pattern here with the baubles or the ornaments and then you've got the um inserts to match so i have got a new template for you today um so this is another um fun fold card it's slightly trickier than the other ones i've bought but i feel like if you've managed to get on with the other ones then this one is not going to give you too many problems because it's just a little step further on from that um so this is the gatefold fun fold card so let's start by bringing in the trimmer and of course i'm going to start with a piece of six by twelve um, this is the white 300 GSM cardstock and I'm going to move this over to the one inch side of my trimmer and I'm going to move my blade down to one inch on my score uh, my, on my cutting tool on my um, board and I'm going to cut from one to five and then I'm going to stop lift and move it along to the seven and then I'm going to cut from 7 to 11. There we go. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So because my blade's at the top, I'll do it in reverse. So we're doing the 7 to 11. Just carefully up to there. And then from the 5 to the 1. Okay, so you're going to end up with... Four little slits on your card like that okay let's pop that to, out of the way for a moment and randomly my tool is in there okay so we'll do the easiest scores first of all um, bearing in mind that I've got the smaller board so I'm going to rotate my card halfway through if you've got the bigger card a uh, bigger score board you'll be able to do it all without rotating as much but I'm going to start by scoring at two and at four. And then I'm just going to swiss it around and do the same on the other side. So two and four. If you want to go the whole way along, it's going to be the um, two, the four, the eight and the ten. Okay. I've just noticed on my template I've missed a little score line off but I will put that on okay so at the moment we've got those four lines on and the four cut lines so now uh, what we're going to do is on the one inch mark I'm just going to score up to the cut line and then I'm going to miss the next one and go up to the five inch and do the same in same again so one and five um, and then I'm going to rotate and do the same again so one and five and then because I've got that smaller school board just turn my page over it doesn't really matter that the fold lines or the score line is going a different way because we will work that out when we get to the end um, I don't have an idea it's that one okay and I'll give you the um, lines okay so the ones that go all the way down are the two four eight and ten and then here we're going one to the line five inch to the line seven inch to the line and um, eleven inch to the line okay and then you'll do that on both sides so you're going to end up with a template hopefully you can see that's gonna look a bit like that okay so the easiest thing to do first of all is to just give these and you know what I say about folding is like you know just get them all moving and then we can put them in the right direction so I'm just going down those four line scores first of all 
and I'm not really bothering that I'm folding it whether it needs to go in or out at this point we just want to give them a burnish down make sure the paper knows we're expecting it to crease at those points okay and then um, what we need to do is just ease those other smaller ones into a bending position again I'm not worrying about whether it wants to go forward or back at this minute just want to make sure paper knows it is going to be bending okay so this is going to be coming across so what we need to do is fold um, that one up so we've got a mountain a valley and a mountain and then that's going to go down like so and I'm not pressing it hard because if you press it down hard what will happen is you'll get an imprint of the folds in the middle there and you don't really want that um, and then again with these they're coming in that's going that way so you will need to go that way that right nose so that's going in that's going down that's going up there we go and then again so what you're going to have is at the moment is something that looks like this and when you open it up it's going to sit on us on a shelf so you can see with all these folds even undecorated it's quite imp impressive um, but I have cut two other pieces of card beforehand just out of, um, you know, like little scraps that I've had let lying around. It's exactly the same white cardstock and these are both two by six and they're going to go on top of there so that when that comes together, you've got that gatefold looking card. Okay, so I think the first thing I want to do actually is get them stuck on and then we can start working on our layers. And what I'm going to do is just use my all-purpose glue, um, call out all-purpose glue, and then a little bit of tacky glue just in the corners, just so I don't get any glue where it's not supposed to be. And then let's just get the whiter side. I'm just going to pop that straight on top, slide it into position, and wipe that a little bit of excess glue away I'm just going to make sure that's nice and flush and then I can do the same on the other side if you want to use your red liner tape I just think it's going to take us a while to cut out these layers because obviously we've got all of these um, uh, bits and pieces to cut out so by the time that's done this is going to be really nicely done for us nice and glued uh, if you want to hold that there with a paper clip or something you can do but as you can see that's how our little card is going to come together so i'm going to pop that to the side hopefully you can still see that Let's put my lid back on my glue for a little while while we work out what we're doing with these layers okay so let's bring the trimmer back in out of the way a second and I'm going to be using because there's silver foil on this kit on this um, set I'm going to be using a nice little bit of um, diamond sparkles um, silver glitter okay so I'm going to need two mats I'm just making sure that it's right on the edge and not slip okay. so I'm going to need two mats that are going to be two by six so I'm just going to take two notches underneath that measurement just to give me a little white border all the way around and like I say it's worth keeping those little bits um, just to, if you need a butterfly anything like that die cut uh, if you've got a punch or, or a die cut it's worth keeping even little flowers um, so the second one again is two notches under the two and two notches under the six so we've got those there actually we may be able to do some of the other little layers out of that um, and then on the inside here is sort of four by four so uh, we're going to go two notches under the four and two notches under the four um, this piece here is two by four 
so that should be four so let's go two notches under the two and two notches under the four so that's going to be that piece oh, that one's a little bit too small to save um, again two notches under the two two notches under the four So we've got two of those. Um, and then these pieces here, we need four pieces um, that are one by two. So um, I'm going to do it to that measurement on the other side. So I'm going to go two notches under the one and two notches under the two. So we've got one that will go in there. Actually, we need more. We need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So let's see what this piece is here. So we can get another piece out of there. So that's that one. And then we'll cut another one. Actually, while we're there, we'll cut another one. And then that should get us all our two inch pieces done. So two notches, that's there. Two notches under the two, that's one there. And two notches under the two, at the top. And two notches under the two. Oops, there. So we've got three of those and there are one, two, three, four on both sides. So there's eight pieces that are one by one. So it's up to you on how you want to do those. Actually, I might try and get them out of these pieces. So one, two, three, four. So we've got eight to get. And I'm not sure how I'm going to mat and lay these, whether I'm going to bother putting some paper on them or whether I am going to just leave them as glitter. So let's put that into my little box there. Let's borrow a little bit of tape. If you don't want to fiddle about with it then obviously just use the bigger piece. Um, trying to be quite good about how I'm using my card and trying to be uh, as economical as I can. So we've got those there um, and then we just need another four. So. that other bit there so again two notches under the one just working through all of these you may even have if you've collect dies or anything you may even have a die that does a small square that's a similar sort of size so we've got one two to the cardstock. So we've got a nice piece, decent sized piece there out of an A4. Still left over. Okay, so I'm going to come with this cardstock first of all. And I'm going to do the two pieces for these long ones because they're going to be at the front. So this needs to be one and three quarters. And I'll do the other one as well. One and three quarters and then that's going to be five and three quarters and they will go on to there again keep hold of these 
we know we've got those little bits to do okay now for these two pieces here I'm going to do that out of the insert so I'm going to leave that piece for the moment I may also do that piece out of the insert because it is going to have the topper on so you're not going to see a lot of it so I think what we need to do next is what have we got here so we've got think what we'll do is we will do these um, two inch pieces so really the mat on this is going to be one and three quarters by three quarters of an inch so that's just going to go on there actually I don't like the way that's because that's the wrong orientation so how big is that is that one and three quarters it actually is so let's go one that's better so just watch your orientation if you're copying this two and three okay and then what I'm going to do is cut this at five and three quarters because that's pretty much what I need for another card so we'll move it out of the way for a second um, and then I want another three of these so if I go three quarters of an inch and that should be pretty much where we need to be so these are going to be for those top pieces uh, so three quarters just keep checking that you're doing them the right bit for the right space So we've got our three bits there so now we need these eight pieces of one inch which I don't think I'm going to get out of there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this darker cardstock and just because mostly I do cut off some of this cardstock anyway if I'm using it on another card and I think it's going to contrast ni nicely with this darker piece so I'm just going to take three quarters of an inch the whole way along and then I can just start cutting at, actually let's do it the other way and that's going to be easier. So three quarters of an inch and we need eight of those. four five so we need one more okay so there we go so we've still got that piece a little bit left over there so then we need the insert now just to do these pieces here again you could just cut a little bit off um, of this darker cardstock if you wanted to coordinate you could use your little books um, I just thought it'd be nice to have the insert there and then there is something there to, to write on if um, somebody wants to. Okay, so I'm going to 
start by measuring this. I think it's just under eight inches. Yes. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, just so I get the um, most use out of this as I can from a card. So this bit in the middle, the four by four piece, you're not really gonna see much of it. So what I'm gonna do is cut this at three and three quarters, and that's that piece there. And then hopefully this piece should still be around about three and three quarters, because this is four by two. So, and I'm using the guillotine for this just because it's insert paper, and it just cuts better on here. So I'm gonna go at one and three quarters, just making sure that's nice and straight. And then we need it to be um, three and three quarters. I think, gonna, yeah, I am gonna just go at three and three quarters. I was oven and iron whether to cut that piece off, um, but I'm gonna leave it on there even though it'll be a step down. Okay, and then this next one will do the same. Uh, one and three quarters. And then three and three quarters. So that should be everything we need, I believe. Fingers crossed now, as long as I don't lose anything when I'm moving things around. We should be good to decorate. Okay, let's move those pieces there. Let's move those pieces there. Okay, so let's start in the middle. I'm gonna use a little bit of my dotty tape pen from Crafters Companion. Oops, can I pick it up? Um, just in the corners, just gonna pop some glue dots just because it's paper and the paper with the Kalau Tacky glue um, because that is a water-based glue. Just trying to work out which way the pattern is. Let me hold that up to the light a little bit. It's very difficult to see. I'm going to go with that. It'll probably be wrong. Although saying that, this is a square so I should be able to rotate it if it looks too odd. You can only just, it's so faint, that pattern. I've got a feeling it's that way. Well, it's going that way, because that's the feeling I've got from it. Okay, so again, just coming back to my glues, the Kalau Tacky and the Kalau All Purpose now. And that can go straight into our middle piece. Just making sure that that's in the middle and we're not on any of those creases. Okay, so what shall I do next? Shall I go with that insert bit as well? And again, a little bit of these glue dots. Let's do all of these insert paper ones first of all and get those out of the way. If you wanted to mix up these layers, instead of going with uh, more glitter glue on there, you could go with a darker blue, um, adorable scorable. You could use an, a piece of adorable scorable that you embossed, foiled. Um, you know, loads of different ways to mix it up. That's on there. Um, and then we've got this one here. And I'm not sure if anyone would know that they could write on these pieces, but if anybody was to ask, you could say, yeah, you can write on them. Or, you know, if you're sending this card to somebody yourself, um, you could write on it yourself. Although I do have to warn you, um, this is not going to be flat when it's uh, finished. You know, it is going to be quite chunky. Um, it's going to need either a little box or uh, a chunky box elope. Um, Hunky Dory don't do a box elope for this when it's finished because I think it's six by four. Um, although I suppose you could put it in a five by seven and maybe some tissue paper around it just to make it look 
prettier. Um, I'm going to leave that one for that side. So let's do this side. And these things really start to come to life once you put your papers on. And like I say, you don't have to do this with the adorable scoreboard, like, you know, and the glitter and things. You can use your duo design papers and just some plain cardstock. You know, if you've got any other kits out there that you want to use. You know, this is one of those ones that's going to go for lots of different things. It's just that I tend to use Hunky Dory. Well, which you will know if you come back here a lot, and you'll know I am Hunky Dory through and through. And that's me as a crafter, not as a, um, you know, I don't, I'm not in any way associated with them. I'm just a person that loves to use their products. And uh, I like to find different ways and different ways to, and different cards to sort of try and make the most out of these uh, lovely products we have from them. They do work very hard over there. And I know they have been, uh, I think, you know, by going by what they say on their lives, uh, which are 10 o'clock UK time, Monday to Friday. I think they have been quite surprised at how popular they've been, the Christmas launch has been this year. So, um, you know, it's, everybody is beginning to find out about them. So that's a brilliant thing. Okay, let's bring these two inch pieces out. And just pop those to the side and then do the little fiddly ones last. Okay, so just making sure I've got them pretty much the right way up. Um, I think I'm just going to go with tacky glue on these just because they are so small. And what I'm also going to do. Is just glue them all before I pop them in that's not very straight so you do get wiggle room time with just the tacky glue but just be aware it does take a little quicker okay so we're just going to keep on going that's not very good is it so one of those is not right is it this or is it that? Uh oh, this one looks wider, that's why. Okay, we'll pop that to the side, first casualty. Oh, there's only one, I think. So I might just have to do a little bit. So, oh, I think what I've done is pop the wrong thing away. Look, what a numpty. So lesson there being just keep all of your bits to hand just in case you do and me and pop the wrong thing away. Again, tacky glue. Oops. Not as wide a border as the other ones, but quite done it. And then so I quite like these sort of things where you're just sitting and working through and Side. And on. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and pop these bits onto our card. Again, just making sure we're in the middle and um, trying to avoid those crease lines. And I'm not trying to look too drunk when they go on. Stay put. And obviously, if you've got um, a sort of scanner or 
one's slightly smaller. I might have to hide that with the sentiment, but that's fine. I wouldn't worry too much about that one. Um, yeah, if you've got a, a scan and cut machine, you can always scan the template in and do your layers with that. Cut them all out in one go. Okay, so let's do the same with this. These little tiddly ones. So just trying to make sure there is a way up with them. Some of them are harder to see than others. Oh, there goes one. We'll find that in a minute. Squirty glue. And with these uh, smaller bits, you may find that your cutting's not quite as straight. Just even if you're using a a, a trimmer, just because it's harder to keep that straight in the trimmer once it gets to the smaller bits. It's got a slightly big border on one side, but we're not going to worry too much about it. I think I'm already liking what it looks like, and I think with this glitter was a definitely the right way to go because that draws your eye a lot. You know, gives you a bit of a draws your eye away from any any big disasters. Let's put it that way. The other thing I think would look great with this is that um, new. Well, it's not new, the Diamond Miri Sparkle, the rainbow one that they've um, recently bought back. $7.99, I think, from their Man Hobby Maker. Uh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Bought some last year and bought two this year um, because I did run out a couple of months ago. And I was a bit devastated that I ordered what I thought was the same thing and it wasn't. It really is beautiful. Um card. Let me see if I can just grab excuse the chair creaking. That little square. Turn down the back of the table. Oh, can you hear the devil? Oh, achy bones. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah, we're nearly getting to the bit where we can put the topper on. It's quite a long one, this one, because of all the little bits. Okay, so like I say, this is not perfect, but I am sort of hurrying it along. You will be able to take much more time at home. So I'm going to put these little bits on first, because hopefully they'll be a little drier. Nice. This one's going to be tricky. Okay, it's coming under there. I think if I was doing that again, I'd miss that one out because nobody is really going to see it. because the camera is playing up a little bit today. I'm not sure why. So again, just more of the same. Just do six of these. Is it six? No, four. I'll miss these ones out. Because I don't think it's really going to be seen. But since I did them, we'll pop them on. 
But if you see any forever versions of this card, you're probably not going to see that. Okay, so that is what it looks like when it's open. So you can see it's pretty stunning. Even for me, I think that's lovely. Okay, so I'm going to go bring these toppers out. I'm bring out the square one because I think it's perfectly sized to go into there. Um, and then I think maybe Winter Wishes is that going to fit in there? No, it's not. Bent it a little bit. Um, what else can we pop on? Hmm. I don't think I want a lovingly handmade on there. I think I'm probably just going to go with those. Yeah, I think so. I don't think the tree. I'll save those other bits for another card, I think. Now, let's think. Do I want to pop that on another little bit of glitter? Let's have a look and see what that look like. Where did I put that little piece? I've hided it from myself. There you are. It's not going to be big enough anyway, but... Now, let me just check. So I have got a hunky dory punch. Is this the one that does the bits that cut away? No, it's a circle one. Uh, oh, this might not be a hunky dory. This is woodware. Is this going to be too much if I do that? Obviously, I'm going to do it on a piece that's big enough. Yeah, it's a wrong angle. What about if I did it with that round? I would look. Could do it with the other little rounder. Sorry, just thinking this through. Since I've got this piece here. Which one do I prefer? That one? Yeah, I think the little one. I think it's the little one. I don't know why it's the little one. Always the little one. But there you go. Um, and then. Okay, so let me just grab another piece of the diamond sparkles, which I did happen to have next to me. And I think we'll use, we'll use our trimmer that way around. So let's want this to be quite close to the size of this one. So it is three and a quarter, three and a quarter. So if I go three and a half minus two notches, hopefully it should be quite a nice little mat all the way around. And that's not too huge on there. Nope. So we'll do the corner around in a second. Um, and then this piece here. What have we got? Oh, half an inch plus two. Half an inch plus two. So that's good. To half an inch plus four, which is three quarters. Just make a little mark there just to make that easy. Not there. Yeah, yeah that's going to be nice and chunky. So, we could, no, I'm not going to trim the uh, corners on that one. So, let's just do this one here. So this is the little tiny hunky dory corner rounder, which gives a really nice little corner all the way around. So let's 
so that is going to sit on there quite nicely and we'll be able to put pearl or um, if we've, ideally if I've got a navy gem that will go there so let's pop that onto our card and then I will pop that on some one millimeter um, pads that's that one and then this one I'm just going to pop on with a little bit of PVA to a cloud tacky glue there we go it's quite a nice chunky border on that one okay let's grab some one millimeter pads so I use these um, sticks two ones just because they're the ones I've got to hand I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this one card on the video just because I can see it has taken quite a long time so apologies for there only being one idea with this but I will make cards with the others and I will pick them up on Pinterest and um, it will be tomorrow that I will put those up uh, usually uh, usually I work them while I watch the video I do the editing I leave it to go and it has to sort of weld itself together whatever the computer does to it sticks it all together and makes it one file um, and then I usually watch that and have a little play uh, when Emma goes over you know how I'm obsessed with Emma Dell at the moment. I think it should be good tonight. Let's go up a little bit because I know I've got this one to go on. Or should I go across? How about going across there? Ooh, I like that. Now, shall I put it on a foam pad? Yes, I shall. Okay, so we want it on just on those bits there, and then I just need to find. So I'm a bit annoyed that I've bent that a little bit, but let's give it a bit of, let's give ourselves a bit of protection. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed that um, I've bent that a little bit. It would look better if it wasn't bent. So that's that as there. Right, so let me just go and find some gems. I'll be as quick as I can. Okay, so I've decided to use these little shimmer ones um, that I got recently because it's got the navy and the light blue. Um, so let's see, what should we do? Let's do a big one. And two small ones there. And we'll rotate that round. Do the same up here. And don't particularly want to put any on everyone. But I do want to put some on these corners. So is it going to be this size or is it going to be the little ones? It's going to be the little ones. And these probably could benefit from a little blob of glue underneath, but we'll trust it for now. So what we've we got, we've got six, we've got ten. So I'm going to have to put one somewhere. Hmm. Where can I put one? I know what I can do. Let's bring in a gold gem. Just one little tiny one. Uh, it's just a big hipstick. And it's so small, it's not even, people are not even going to really notice it's there. But we know it makes our numbers right. I'm going to pop this onto the centre there. Come here, Mr. Gold. There he goes. There you go. You can hardly see it. 
but it makes my numbers lucky. So that is all I am doing for today. Just because, like I say, this one has been quite a long car, so I'm not going to submit and uh, make you sit for another 15 20 minutes of another card with this one. But, like I say, I will do work then behind the scenes. So you can see it's quite small, it's four by six, which is good size for you guys overseas, but obviously you've still got that um, dimension there to think about when you're posting it. You can make um, a wraparound sort of belly band sort of thing to keep it together. I just think it's probably gonna look better in a box. And then when they open the box, it's gonna spring up and they'll realize exactly how that goes together and how that's going to stand on a shelf you can see it is really really nice I knew it would work with this kit when I saw this style I thought oh I know what's going to work with that but like I say that's it for today so thank you so much for watching next time I'm going to come back with the little book from this um, and I'm going to make maybe one or two cars maybe two videos one video two videos not quite sure depends on how the um, inspiration flows of them um how many sort of ideas i can think of um but it's definitely going to be little book on this one i think it's called the little book of christmas um what do i do with it i put it somewhere safe uh, here it is yeah it's this one the ninth little book of christmas um which has got the penguins the truck got a couple of different father christmases that jukebox that looks it just gives me r2d2 vibes from star wars a little um robot then you've got your sort of bethlehem your um granddad napping cracker you've got the donkey wonky donkey above christmas the puppies um the horse above christmas again a religious one, the donkey donkey, uh, some presents, that beautiful cat, that beautiful pug, little dinosaurs, and then that reef. Oh, and the, the old hot chocolate. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be coming back with next time. Um, that will be on, uh, what are we on today? We're on Thursday, so that should be on Saturday. All being well. Um, but until then, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll put the template up on Pinterest, YouTube and Facebook. Um, please do take it, do what you can with it. Oh, and I should also say as well, I was inspired by um, a person on Pinflare. I saw the card. Um, I worked it out from that picture. I can't remember what her name is, um, but she's a stamping up stamping up demonstrator i believe they do tend to do quite a lot of fun folds the stamping up crew so um yeah that's where i got it from that's where i was, where I was inspired from so um it's not one that i've come up with and please don't think that i come up with any of these by myself i'm usually inspired by something else that i see um but until next time happy crafting bye